What's happening guys? Okay, we're into part three of this little uh, journey up the river in Victoria, New South Wales. Uh, just leaving Wodonga. Had a great time last night at uh, Rodney and Jen's birthday party and wedding anniversary. I don't think I made too big a dick out of myself. Maybe just a touch, but it was a great night. Um, I don't know whether I actually surprised them or whether I disappointed them or what it was, but uh, it was good fun. Met a lot of their family and friends and uh, enjoyed it. But uh, now we're off to Yarrawonga. So uh, we are now on the southern side of the River Murray, whereas last week's video we came along the other side. So we're heading back. Uh, we're going to go to Yarrawonga. And uh, we're about level now with... If you watched last week's video I did the corny joke about the town called How Long. Well there was a road just back there which leads you across to How Long where obviously there's a bridge to get to it. So we just passed there, we're about 70 kilometres from Yarrawonga. Yarrawonga is where they've got the big barge, I suppose you'd call it a barge or a dam or but uh, it's all blocked off so if you were you if you were coming up the river uh, from South Australia that is as far as you can get, is Yarrawonga, because there's no lock there to get a boat through. So we're going to go and check out the lake, which is Lake Mullawala, Wala, Lake Mullalala. I don't know, I should have looked this up in the bloody map, shouldn't I? Mullawala, pretty sure that's it. So we're going to go there, we're going to check the lake out, we're going to check the big barrage out where the river ends if you're coming up with a boat. And then uh, we will find a camping spot the other side of Yarrawonga. Uh, so we'll start heading our way towards Echuca for tomorrow. And we'll probably spend a full day at, at Echuca uh, in the next video. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. So uh, we better uh, watch out for that car behind me. We better turn the camera around, show you guys what I'm looking at. And it's also time to start the music. too sure where we're heading here. There's supposed to be a lake down here somewhere. Lake Modmere. Said one kilometre. I've gone about two kilometres. Right, I'm not too sure where we are here. Said river access. Oh, there we go. River. I'm guessing it's the Murray River. Looks like she might be flooded a bit down there. I don't know. Do not camp on boat ramps or roads. So definitely the Murray River. Hiskins Bend. And you can see how far the water's up. That'll be the boat ramp down by the shed there. And you've got a fair bit of flow. Road out to the right, it's all flooded. So this is Lake Mulwala, I think that's right, got a lot of trees out in the middle of it, bit of a cruise boat there, we'll go around to the end I think, out to the left must be where the barrage is, we'll try and get the other side of the barrage and uh, we'll see how much water's flowing through it, should be a fair bit.
I'm not too sure where this bridge goes, but we'll go for a, a look. I need petrol and I need to clean that windscreen for you guys. I tried dodging the bugs, but it didn't work. Out to the left. Looks like there's two. Shit, she's a bit narrow up here. But look where I'm going. Um, looks like there's two barrages there. But we'll go and check those out in a minute. Okay, so I'm a little bit dumb. Maybe a lot dumb. So across this side is the town of Mulwala, which I should have known. Yarrawonga the other side. We've got the boat ramp here. See a few boats out there in between all the trees. Well, I finally found uh, a park at the weir, so we'll go and check that in, out in a minute. I'm just um, having lunch. Got the good old uh, Fritz sandwich. So, uh, it's a classic in South Australia called Fritz. It's a processed meat. I've talked about it before, I think. I think they might call it Devon or something in Victoria, New South Wales. But... Uh, I've got the El Cheapo, but the good stuff is the bung. You've got to get the bung fritz, and you've got to have some tomato sauce with it. So uh, it's always a 7.6, no matter what, without taking a bite. So that's my review. But uh, we'll go check out uh, the Yarrawonga Weir in a minute. So definitely a lot of water coming through. Got a guy fishing across in the boat the other side of the river. And a couple here. Haven't seen them catch anything yet. Although there's a guy over here that's uh, got his bell going on his rod, so we'll go and see if this guy's catching anything. And still hear the bell going on his rod. Looks like they got the net in to grab it, whatever it is. Is it a catfish? Callop. I think you might just make it. That's a cod. Just made it. She's a beauty. Yeah. I'm guessing it's a Murray cod. Yes. It's a Murray cod. It's not the not yeah. the trout cod. The trout cod sort of more leaves. Oh, beautiful. Murray cod sort of got the yeah. Whereas the trout sort of looks just like a trout, but it's yeah. longer. That's brilliant. I reckon that's about the first one I've seen live. <laughs> oh, he's running down there. Might have another one. Well, I've got to admit, I think I might have seen one get caught before. But, uh, yeah. A Murray Cod, eh? Brilliant. Okay, well that was the Yarrawonga Weir. Pretty impressive and pretty cool to see that guy catch the uh, Murray Cod. 
I reckon I might have only ever seen one caught before. Uh, I know my brother's caught heaps of them in comps and stuff, but I reckon I might have seen one back when I was about 12 years of age. At Bow Hill, someone caught a small one. So yeah, I uh, thought that was pretty cool. And uh, he was allowed to keep it. It was the right size. Uh, in South Australia, they have a cod season, and there's times of the year where you can't even take them out of the water if you catch them. So, uh, and I'm pretty sure all year round you can't keep them in South Australia. I could be wrong. I should have looked that up first before saying it, but uh, I'm pretty sure in South Australia you can't keep the cod at the moment. So uh, we're going to head off now towards Echuca. I think very rough guess. It's probably hour and a half two hours away so we're going to travel for probably an hour or so and then start looking for a campsite on the edge of the murray that's the plan anyway so uh let's get moving okay time to start looking for a campsite um i'm not too sure where we are i've been following wiki camps the app and I know we're probably about 40 k's downstream from Echuca and there's supposed to be a couple of campsites up here so we should run into the River Murray in a minute and then we veer left and hopefully we can find a campsite for the night. Not the Murray but a beautiful little creek. We've got the Murray River straight ahead. That's one of the campsites on the map. But, don't know. Oh, looks a bit muddy. We'll follow it down a bit. There's a couple more down the track here. The river's looking beautiful, no wind. I reckon this looks like the spot guys how beautiful is that little spot over here where someone's had a campfire before well guys what a beautiful night rivers looking sensational got some crops over the other side of the river I'm gonna guess wheat we got the fire going got to be one of my top five uh, spots along the river so far we'll do a bit of a cook up later on nothing too flash I've got some sausages there and a few of those hamburgers so I need to get rid of some of that but not hungry at the moment so it might be a little bit dark when I do the cook up that should be a bloody poster
Okay guys, pretty basic cook up tonight. I bought a heap of those bloody hamburgers so I've got to get rid of a couple of them. A couple of uh, beef sausages this time. And uh, I'll chuck a couple of eggs in there. Job done. Be back when they're nearly cooked. Okay guys, looking pretty good. I forgot to say I've got a couple of spuds hidden in under there somewhere. Wrapped up in uh, our foil. We'll plate her up in a minute. Rightio guys, all plated up. Um, <laughs> I think last video I was boasting how I was getting pretty good at doing the potatoes. Uh, stuffed up. They're a little bit uh, black on the outside. But the centres are perfect so I can scoop out the centre. And everything else is looking pretty good. Back with the review in a minute. Okay guys, food review, pretty good. Potatoes are a bit stuffed, but it was okay scooping scooping out the middle. So uh, 8.1, that's my review. Sitting here by the fire, watching one of my favorite hobbies, a bit of poker. Got the laptop out. And uh, having a glass of scared of the dark medicine. Catch you guys in the morning. Good morning. Okay, we've woken up to a bit of thunder and lightning, a little bit of rain. Been a brilliant campsite, great little spot. And uh, we're going to head off to a chuka today. So this is going to finish this video. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget, leave a comment, like, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we will catch you next week when we do a bit of a trip around Echuca. See ya.